Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at changing the subject of the formula. This is an algebraic technique to solve equations. So what is the subject of the formula? The subject of the formula is a variable on its own on one side. I have some examples here. So a equals pi r squared, a is the subject of the formula. You can see the subject of the formula in green here. They are the variables, the letters, on their own on one side of the equation. Two examples that don't work are these two here. Here the c is being squared, so it's not on its own on one side. Over here the f is on both sides of the equation, so that doesn't count either. You have to have the variable on its own only on one side. And that's how you make uh, it the subject of the formula. Okay, so these work. When you want to use a formula to calculate an answer, you will often have to rearrange it first. You'll always want the variable you are calculating to be the subject. So when you're in science or you're in maths class and you want to change the subject of the formula, this video will help you. Rearranging. To rearrange a formula, you need to do the opposite of what's in the formula. If you've got a plus, you need to do the opposite, which is subtract. If you've got a times, you need to do the opposite, which is divide. If you've got divides, you've got to do the opposite, which is times. If you've got a square, you need to do the opposite, which is a square root. And if you've got a square root, you need to do the opposite, which is squaring. Okay? Let's see some examples. We want to rearrange e equals half mv squared to make v the subject of the formula. This is a really famous uh, equation in physics, and so you will have to use this in uh, physics. E equals half mv squared, and we want to make v the subject of the formula. I've highlighted v to make it easier. The first thing we notice is it being multiplied by a half. Halving something is the same as dividing by two, and the opposite of dividing by two is multiplying by 2. So you multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of the divide by 2. And we get 2e, e times 2 is 2e, equals mv squared. Now, we want to get rid of this m over here. This m is multiplying the v squared, so again, we're going to divide by m to get rid of that. And we get 2e divided by m equals v squared. We're almost there. Now we just need to get rid of the square. The opposite to squaring something is square rooting. So we square root both sides. And we get this. And that's the final answer. That is the same equation, but rearranged. And you would use this version to calculate V if your question asks to work out V. Okay? Let's see another example here. S equals UT plus half AT squared. And I want to make A the subject of the formula. I've highlighted A here to make it easier. The first thing we do is get rid of the plus AT, uh, plus UT. The UT is adding to, uh, to this side. So you're going to subtract it from that side and subtract it from the other side. Uh, and we get S minus UT equals a half AT squared. Now I want to get rid of that half. The opposite to halving something is multiplying by 2. And so I get 2 times s minus ut equals half at squared. I now want to get rid of that t squared to get a on its own. And it's multiplying the a by t squared. So I divide both sides by t squared. And I get t times s minus ut over t squared equals a. And that is the final answer. Finally, let's look at this one. y equals 3x plus 2 over x minus 4. And I want to make x the subject of the formula, like this. The first thing we uh, see is that the uh, equation is being divided by x minus 4. And so we multiply both sides by x minus 4. And we get y times x minus 4 equals 3x plus 2. Now, 
I expand the brackets and I get yx minus 4y equals 3x plus 2. For that one, I just do y times x is yx, y times minus 4 is minus 4y. I want to move the minus 4y to the other side, so I add 4y to both sides, like this. I want to move the uh, 3x to the other side, and to do that, I subtract 3x from both sides. Y minus, yx minus 3x equals 2 plus 4y. All of this was to just get the x's on the same side, because now what I can do is I can factorise out the x's. So I can factorise the left hand side of the equation, and I get x times y minus 3 equals 2 plus 4y. This is a really important step. If you have more than one of the same symbol in the equation, and you want that symbol on its own, you need to factorise it out by getting it all to one side and then factorising. Then we have x times y minus 3, so we do the opposite of times by y minus 3, we divide by y minus 3. And we get x equals 2 plus 4y divided by y minus 3. And we have the final answer there. OK, that one's a little bit harder. There's a few more steps to that one. Be careful with the expanding brackets and the factorising. You might want to rewind the video and watch that one again. If you're ready to try this, I've got some practice questions here for you. I want you to rearrange these to make the, uh, these letters the subject of the formula. So for the first one, I want you to rearrange it to make U the subject of the formula. And I also want you to rearrange it again to make A the subject of the formula. Same for all of these down here. Pause the video, do this on pen and paper, and see if you can get the right answer. When you're ready, I'll reveal the answers in 3, 2, 1. Did you get it right? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching today's video with Advanced Maths. If you'd like to see more videos, uh, subscribe for future videos. If you have any ideas for future videos, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and have a good day.